Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Zoop here, and it has not been a good week for Wargaming whatsoever. Starting with the whole little white mouse incident, evolving into the vacancy that opened up, and then we finally know who is leaving the company, and that would be Happa Fodder. And, I, you know, I think it's unfortunate because he's a good guy. I, I've had dealings with him numerous times when I was with the CC program. Um, he's always been very nice. Uh, he's fun to stream with. I, I remember streaming with him not long ago. Um, he's just an all-around good guy. Uh, Navy veteran. He, he enjoys the game. He's decent at the game, which is more than I can say for a fair amount of the Wargaming employees. So it, it's a decent-sized loss, I would say. Now, I, I guess that uh, kind of leads into the next question. Why is he leaving? And, you know, Hapa left a uh, very nice uh, forum post to the community saying, yeah, you know, it's time to retire, retire. I mean, you've, you've got to remember he was career Navy, so he's he's <laughs> he, he doesn't have to work if he doesn't want to. Uh, he got in back while the uh, retirements were still good for active duty service members. Uh, they've they've changed how retirements work it's no longer 50 or 40 percent of your final pay grade uh, and you know d depending on how long you stay in and uh, what you make it up to that can be pretty lucrative so you know th this for him was kind of a secondary gig and it appears that he just wants to retire retire and you know he left it at that however the timing <laughs> The timing is just very, very, very strange. Totally strange. And someone else, yep. someone pointed out on the forums that he gave no two weeks notice. And I mean, nope. it, yep. it's two over pens? just not a good look with everything that happened. So we can take what he said at the base and maybe he is just deciding that it's yeah, time to move out. on he doesn't want to have any nice, stress nice. in his life and just wants to enjoy his retirement and if that's his choice then that's fine but given everything that has happened this week i mean guys you know what i'm hinting at right now i mean it's not coincidental that uh, Little White Mouse has a huge communication issue oh, with the North America the team, Iowa, which in turn has a huge communication a nice, uh, with the uh, St. Right Petersburg yeah, team. Was, All of a sudden, yeah, vacancy was, opens, and one of the community we'll managers has left. Mine, little, uh... I mean, seriously, Occam's razor here. The most obvious solution, or the most obvious answer, is the correct one. So... Like the, I mean, the, I, the I don't want to put words in anyone's mouths oh, over this, at Wargaming, this, this, this but match. it really, really looks like this is what oh, happened. One thing oh, led to go. another, there and <laughs> see ya. Whether Happa decided to leave on his own volition uh -oh, because he knew it was coming, he or oh, he was basically yeah, forced yeah. out, we don't know. We probably never will it, know. I, I doubt oh, no. Happa is going to say anything about it because uh, knowing him, he's you know, too good of a person to do that. So that, that just leads us to assume uh, what we know yeah. about Wargaming already one? and their track record. No, I think I'm and oh, that track Cheshire. record is just... Two Citadels! It's, nice. it's not good right now. Nice. It's not a good look. Well, you're crushing it today. I mean, a, a former oh, employee right said now. that the way right they're now. treating yeah, right now. their Bart's player boy. community I and their employees is just horrible right now. That's a former employee, and I'm, I'm not going to say his name, uh, but he's on Twitter, and I'm, I'm sure some of you follow him and know him very well, but it, it's each other? just not good. This, in my opinion, yeah, is the lowest that, point right? I have but seen Wargaming at with everything that's happened, and honestly, I, can only imagine I mean, if it were me, right if it now. were my company, if I was in charge, I would completely shake things up right now, Jumbo, top down. I mean, some regions are doing better than others. Uh, North America needs a little help right now, obviously, especially with the new vacancy they have. Uh, St. Petersburg, I don't know what's going on over there. But this this is not a way to run a business right now. I mean, you're supposed to try and keep your talent, not drive them into the ground and force them to leave. And again, this drives home the point of why we're having all these issues with the game right now and the community. This is just a key example right now of the revolving door 
uh, an employee who enjoyed the game, enjoyed interacting with the community, was halfway decent at the game, was here for what, maybe a year, year and a half? I, I can't remember. It, it wasn't long, though. Maybe two years. And now he's gone. Great and whether he was forced out or he just decided that, you know, the, the dynamics of the position and the way the interaction is between St. Petersburg and North America is, um, he's gone. He's, either way, he's gone. And now they're going to have to fill that vacancy with another individual, and it, it, it's just unfortunate. So that's where we're at. And, you know, I, I really didn't want to spend a whole week on this, but things just really evolved from one day to the next. And... You know, the more we're finding out about the whole little white mouse and uh, Chobitsu, who is the uh, the other side of that whole issue, you know, the the worse and worse it looks because uh, I mean, the Wargaming was going to so compensate them like for their shot, 16, 17 months like of hard work with basically a temporary camouflage, and, and like that the was very it. Next shot, so, it's like, you know, no, it, when, when you when you deal with your your most supportive fans, players, content creators, and you do this to them, this it trickles down and the community sees this. And yes, granted, like I said earlier, they really don't care. Because let's face it, the, the vast see. majority of the players don't see what's nice. going on. They don't care. They just log on to play. They don't uh -oh. they don't see the politics at play. Come but on. but the the very gung ho players, the super fans, they're the ones that are in tune. They're the ones that see what's going on. They're the ones that see all this, and it leaves a sour taste in their mouth. And more, more now than ever, I've seen just an abundance of my own followers say, "You know what? I've spent X amount of money on this game. I'm not spending anymore." And I, I know that, and they know at that point also, Wargaming milked them already. They, they got their money out of them, and, you know, the, these right these players are happy to admit they are whales, and I've, I've got no problem with uh, players being whales, you know, it's, it keeps the game going, but this is what's happening. Those individuals, those quote-unquote quote whales, those people with disposable income, they're closing up their wallets now because they see the way that... Wargaming is treating all these individuals. They see the way that Wargaming is treating their content creators. They see the way Wargaming is treating their employees. And you know, when something like this happens, and you've got a veteran who served in the Navy for 20 years, retired out of the Navy, and you see them leave, and you assume... You assume it's because of something that happened that probably wasn't their own fault, probably was a communication issue, that leaves a bad taste in the mouth of other veterans, other players that support this individual, this employee, and they're the ones that are just going to say, you know what, I'm done spending money. This is a free-to-play game. Guess what? I'm going to play for free. I don't need premium anymore. I've got all the ships I want. I don't need more ships. I've got 100. I've got 200. Yeah, something might come along in the future that I really, really wanted, that Wargaming's just sat on their ass and taken a uh, long time to put in the game. But at this point, I don't need it. I've got enough good yeah, ships. I can't get them. And I think a lot of players that have been here since the closed beta, and even beyond, <sighs> players that have been here since the alpha, yeah, well, are probably at that point. Yeah, people They're just at the, the point where they said, you know what, enough's enough. I've seen this happen oh, year after year after year. It's I a repeating cycle of wargaming, bringing in talent, beating them down, causing an issue because of miscommunication or through their own I fault, and just finding a scapegoat to kick them out, to get rid of them, wash their hands clean of it, and move on like nothing happened. It's a repeating cycle that has happened year after year after year. And it's sad and it's unfortunate. It's but you know what? For the individuals that move on, for, for the... People that escape and say, you know what, I, I'm done with this, I don't need the stress in my life, I, I don't need whatever, you know what, good for you. Because you made a choice that ultimately is probably going to be the pack, a lot drives. better for your mental health, for your physical health, and just for your overall well-being. I don't want to make it sound like that's the situation everywhere. There's some employees that really enjoy working for Wargaming, um, but if you're in a high-profile position... If you're one of the individuals that has their name out there and is in constant contact with the community, I wouldn't want to be in that position because you're under a microscope and if something happens, whether it's not your fault, whether it's semi your fault, 
or if it is your fault, there's no mercy. There's no mercy at all because it, it looks like Wargaming is going to protect their reputation, which sounds funny right now because there's not much to protect and they're just going to get rid of you. So it's unfortunate, but all the best to Happy Fodder. Um, I know he's going to enjoy his retirement. Uh, <laughs> fair seas and following winds or calm seas. Is, is that the naval quote? I, I don't know. Being an army guy, I, I'm... I, I know historical things about ships, not naval sayings, but anyhow, all the best, hail and farewell, um, and good luck. And for those of you still at Wargaming, good luck as well, because you're going to need it. Anyhow, hopefully nothing else significant and bad happens with Wargaming over the weekend, because I really want to move on and get back into the fun stuff and actually talking about ships and the game itself, and again, getting your replay. Send me those replays, no zoo for you at gmail.com. I want to get back to doing that and showcasing all your W's. Give me your best videos, you know, send the file, give a brief description in the email of why you think your video should be showcased. I've got no problem. I, I want to do this, I want to get back to that. That's the fun stuff, showcasing oh. your all. You're you're gonna go for a rant again. You know, uh, enough uh, about giving war gaming uh, attention. You, you it's time to give you all attention again and get back to you know the good stuff. So uh, anyhow, thanks for bearing wow. with me. It, it was a rough week for war gaming and for you know just in general. So uh, I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.